Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to recover a file from the Avira quarantine and to mark that file once restored as an exception for the Avira antivirus so that Avira doesn't go ahead and re-quarantine it. So uh, right over here I have the Torch setup, which is an executable file, and when I double click it, for one reason or another, Avira marks it as uh, basically uh, unwanted and uh, it errors out because Avira puts it inside of the quarantine. Now, um, assuming you want to restore that, and anytime this does happen, you probably want to make sure that it really isn't a virus. Uh, well, the process here would be right-clicking on the icon in the Notification Center, uh, bottom right in Windows, hit Avira, open Avira Connect. Now we hit open on free antivirus, or paid if you have the pro version, uh, which will open the Avira antivirus window up and we go down to quarantine where we left click and now we can find the files that were recently quarantined right click and hit restore object so that's going to put it and you might want to hit yes to this pop up um, as a suspicious pattern are you sure you want to do that yes um, so now it's restored inside of the folder where we previously had it in this case my downloads folder but if I try to double click it, as you saw before, it's just going to mark it as um, some kind of virus again, and it's going to try to quarantine it. So in order to mark an exception for that, I have to go to Extras, Configuration, and you go down to Real-Time Protection, Scan, Exceptions, and here we can add in Processes to be admitted from the protection and file objects to be admitted. So this is a file, so I'm going to use uh, the selection tool here to navigate to the downloads folder and choose the torch setup. Add that to the exceptions, apply and okay. And now when I double click the torch setup, it should run without Avira going ahead and blocking that. So that's how you recover from a uh, false positive on your uh, Avira antivirus whenever a file gets marked into quarantine and how you mark it as an exception so that you can actually run the program. So I've been Chris. I hope this video has helped you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in my future video content.